Well, good morning, and uh, yes, it's uh, it's arrived. It's up, and I must say, what a fantastic loft this is! Well chuffed. Eco lofts did themselves proud. So we've got three sections. Uh, one for twenty widow woodcocks or roundabout whatever then we've got a young bird section which can hold up to well 30 pigeons on on either side and then we have a corridor which stretches the whole length of the of the shed and that is the other section and then the trapping system then is that we have um, traps on either door for late arrivals and we do get them here but something which I uh, did ask Matt from uh, Eco Lofts if you could do me one thing this is what I find I've seen this before it's not a new thing but it is it is really good here we got um, the vent and with the vent we can drop it down then we can drop it down we can put our basket on there which I'll uh, put um, a chain on it so that we can put the basket on and then we can drive the birds into the corridor and into the basket and um, should be a quick and easy way to um, basket the pigeons I also find that young birds they don't I don't like to handle young birds a lot but I do like to feed the youngsters by hand so that they do get used to you but I find that handling youngsters is is uh, uh, you know well through my own experience they're not 100% uh, liking it but when you feed them into the hand when um, when you feed them so that they are used to you the uh, the, per the boxes that um, that we've got seen before I quite like them really um, they're sort of up and overs so you can you can take them out so you've got a full box or you can stretch them back so it um, gives a bird a perch and then you've got the sliding door then to, to uh, lock them up but I must say and I must thank uh, Matt from uh, Eco Lofts I am really really uh, happy with this well, um, so some of my young birds, because of, uh, due to lack of uh, space, um, I've got, uh, what is it, 40, about 40 for, uh, for racing. So, uh, but I find that about 30 are going and I've had a few late arrivals which I've had to put into the team because I had nowhere to put them. So I have put, um, a couple of later ones uh, in the new loft they're loving it they, they think they're in the Ritz so um, yeah these are the last of my uh, young birds now so starting from from fresh now so let's hope that they can uh, can achieve something for me this year yeah I've got I think Yes, I've got nine birds coming from Simon down, uh, down London. Nine, um, uh, birds which um, I purchased off Dave Reynolds of his um, marathon uh, team. So um, still debating what to do with them. Put them on the road or um, keep them. But. I, 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 I like to see birds prove themselves and uh, anyway we'll we'll see what they're like but I've got to be honest I've had um, quite a few youngsters off uh, Simon this year and fair play it's a credit people like that you know breeding young uns you know on a, on a large scale have been uh, you know they're an asset to the sport like and also um, I did purchase 10 birds um, off Ian Dix, Dixon up in uh, up, up north and um, they are like um, 
a Van He Cross Stittlebout family. So they've got the distance as well and hopefully uh, they'll be able to do something. So they, they've just come in and uh, settled. Um, and uh, yeah, it'd be nice to see what happens there. And also, um, training has gone quite well. Um, I had a 50 mile uh, toss yesterday. Um, the wind, I think, was like in a, a northwesterly wind. Um, and I had them home in an hour and about 10 minutes so I wasn't I wasn't too bad with that but you know uh, fair play they uh, they did work hard so um, yeah well this is it now so I got a few things to do to the loft just to uh, get it ready and um, get these uh, birds so that they can have a, a fly around so youngsters are out now and uh, fair play they are flying for about about an hour, but I found that my uh, my feed-in regime, you know, I was told keep to it, and and it will work. So what I'm what I'm doing with the uh, with the feed-in um, uh, system is that I'm feeding Dyer 2000 in the morning. Um, I put that in front of them after they've come back in off their fly, and then uh, in the evening, then uh, Monday right the way through to to the Friday I put them on uh, a good um, high protein uh, mix um, and uh, with a few extra beans peas and tears so that I can get the pigeons to uh, develop so um, yeah I'll uh, I'll have a chat with you again and uh, thanks for watching bye for now